patrol on patrol. This will be fun. Thievery. Wait a minute. Is that flashy thing still on? Come on, Brian. Do something exciting for the camera. Here's something Brian doesn't want you to see. Sheriff Buddy, our resident troll, asked to borrow my camera. He really wants to shoot a troll on patrol video. I showed him how to use the camera and I gave him a few extra fully charged batteries. I can't wait to see what he came back with. Before we look at his video, here's a cute goat intro clip. Hello, Oscar. Patrol on patrol. This'll be fun. I wish the Troll King would spring for body cams like these. Let's start by looking at the garden. Amazing, the broccoli actually looks like broccoli. It wasn't that long ago that Wendy planted this stuff. Borage. The beans look better from a distance. Something is definitely eating Wendy's beans. Just the other day, I saw shenanigan high diving from the top of this trellis down into these soft, bushy flowers. They're so cushiony, it was like that crazy forest fairy was bungee jumping without needing a bungee cord. The Jerusalem artichokes are going gangbusters. The cabbages aren't doing too bad. The cauliflower seems to have bolted a little bit. I'd have to say Brian's climbing peas are a little pitiful so far. Hey, Brian, he'll see this when he's editing. Wendy's Swiss chard is starting to flower. That means its taste won't be so good, so it's safe to pull this out and go ahead and replace this raised bed that I know you've been meaning to for a while. The burdock is thriving. Its roots are supposed to be medicinal. Thievery. Wait a minute. Is that flashy thing still on? Good. We're still recording. I caught Brian red-handed. I am the sheriff, so I have to be on the lookout for lawbreakers. He's just lucky I don't have human jurisdiction. Look at him. Brazenly stealing the neighbor's yard debris bin. and in broad daylight too. I should point out here that Randy lets me use his yard debris bins on weeks that he doesn't fill his up all the way. 
I do wait until the morning we put those bins out before I use it. First, Brian steals the yard debris bin. Now, he seems to be stealing the firewood in it. Heaven knows why. He has all the firewood he could possibly want around here. Let's just watch and see what he does. Some of you out there might be curious about these blue tarps. You've probably seen them in the background of some of Brian's videos. I was curious, so I took a peek earlier. It turns out he's got, let me show you. Gravel on the top of one tarp and the other tarp is just laid over the top to keep it mostly clean for when he might need to use it. I saw Brian trimming those rose bushes yesterday. Didn't get any video of it. He just gave me the camera today. Here's something Brian doesn't want you to see. Brian wants you to think he composts all of the farm waste around here. It isn't so. Okay, I did see Brian topping off two compost bins with that hay yesterday, but still, has Brian ever shown himself dumping compostables into the municipal yard debris? I don't think so. But he got me there. We are overwhelmed right now with wasted hay that the goats drop on the ground. Let me go outside so I can explain it better. Enjoying your leaf. Hello, Blue. What are you up to? We have had a very wet spring this year. And I know, I know we have too many goats for this space. The ground out here has gotten really muddy. To give the goats a high and mostly dry area, we let their hay leavings pile up on the ground like a big platform. As that hay got higher and higher, 
We were in danger of the goats jumping the fence. I did move the feed station over to the other side, but it's just more convenient to have it over here. Not just because it's closer. The fence is higher and more difficult to reach over with the hay on that side. Drier summer weather is on the way. This gooey mud will dry up. I'm just trying to get rid of the hay the best I can. Excess space in a yard debris bin is a free way to do that. Sorry folks, I wish it were more exciting. Brian is just trimming the rose bushes again. It looks like he's trying to top off the neighbor's yard debris bin. Come on Brian, do something exciting for the camera. This must be what it feels like when Brian has to wait around for the goats to do something cute on camera. Brian had been lopping off dead branches from this holly here. Things might get a little more interesting though because he's coming back with the chainsaw. Well, I don't know if that was more exciting or just anticlimactic. I don't think Brian is going to do any chipping and shredding today. Believe it or not, this is a smallish pile. I've seen him wait until we have twice this much before he brings out the chipper shredder. Okay, Brian is now burning the wood in the fire pit. And he's brought over a lot of the twiggy material from the holly that he was working on before. I just hope he doesn't leave that fire unattended. Smokey Bear is a friend of mine, and I'll report him to Smokey if he does. It looks like Brian stayed by the fire for the duration. I guess there's nothing for me to report. Burning wood is a good way to get rid of it, and ashes, when they're cold, can go into the compost. Those long, thin, flexible branches have a tendency to wrap themselves around the chipper blade, 
and they're tough enough not to compost down directly, at least not fast enough. So yard debris or burning is the way to get rid of them. It does take time to build, start, and actively tend a fire. I figured since Buddy was doing all of the camera work today, I'd have extra time just to relax by the fire. So much for that idea. Buddy just kept recording and recording. The hours I spent just watching him walk around and look at stuff are hours of my life I'll never get back. Be grateful I edited it down to just a few selected highlights. Actually, there was even better content later in the day. I'll have to edit that into a future video. So stay tuned for more Troll on Patrol with Sheriff Buddy.